Okay, by now, the greatness of GTA 5 has hit us like a nutsack in a heavy teabagging competition. People are out there killing, maiming, and having some exciting police chases. But with everybody and their mama riding the cock of this game on consoles, there must be a rise of the haters. And as such, there was a petition about not bringing GTA 5 to PC. Now, I didn't talk about it before because of one simple reason. The person who made it is an idiot, and I'd rather go out and have a donut. <sighs> Look at the reason he put up. <laughs> Why I didn't take it seriously. Alright, Mr. Trevor Phillips, let me read your excuse for why Grand Theft Auto V shouldn't be on PC. I'm sure it's very enlightening. <clears throat> so, PC gamers learn their lesson and stop stealing games. What are you, my fucking nun? You gonna tell me what spinach to be having next? I'm all about believing in people, but how is the person who wrote this not between the ages of 12 and 15 mentally? Anyway, enough of talking about that fuckhead, because there are a few insider leaks uh, that released earlier that revealed that GTA 5 will probably be hitting the PC around the February or March of 2014. It seems like they wish to follow the same path that GTA 4 set up on its release date, which was around 6 to 8 months after the release on consoles. So to all of your PC fans out there, let's get something understood. Rockstar is terrible with ports. They just are. Expect that when GTA 5 releases on PC, it's going to be a buggy mess. Rockstar can do a lot of cool things. A decent PC port on day one isn't one of those.